beautiful day. To be a timber wolf. Nice classic joke. Yeah. Right there. Um, hey Kennedy, want to know what courses through my veins? What? Blood, of course. Oh, what's your type? Uh, I don't really mind as long as she's pretty and nice and like we connect on a spiritual oh, level. I was talking about your blood. Oh, uh, I'm a reptilian, so my blood is blue. Mm, you know, maybe we should talk to other people about their blood. Oh yeah, um, at the blood drive. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Most of the high schools in the county, we see about 90 high schools, and high schools actually collect more blood than any other account. Um, we go to universities, churches, and companies. Um, most high schools do over 60, and as many as 180 pints. Our average blood drive at organizational, other blood drives, are average 27 pints. So we really rely on the high schools, and when the high schools aren't in session in the summer, we have you know, real dramatic shortages and we have to find a lot of other people to make up for all the blood that high schools collect. The donated blood goes to area hospitals. Um, that being said, we have contracts with certain hospitals and the Red Cross has contracts with other hospitals. Um, but if anybody is in particular need, we will you know, get the blood to them despite the contract. Um, and in addition, if there happened to be like emergency uh, when in you know, New Orleans or New York or LA, when they had a train wreck, um, all blood organizations will be sending blood from everywhere in the country to get the blood to the city that needs the blood. This is my first year. I tried to do it last year, but they didn't let me because I had a shot taken before I did it. The blood drive is basically giving a pint of blood away to save a life. I have been doing the blood drive since I was a sophomore, and I've been doing it every year. It's pretty lit. Wow. It's great to know that our students care so much about other people's lives. Hey, what's up? How you doing? What's good in the hood? You seem so pepped up, Kennedy. What's gotten into you? You know, that pep really, really got me. But, oh. um, you kind of cramping my style here. <clears throat> Sorry, it's all this springtime pollen. Achoo! Oh, bless you. Thanks. But really, though, we need to get you pepped up. Like, maybe you should check out this spring pep rally. Okay. I think the pep rally went really good. Um, everything went as we planned and everybody was really good at being where they wanted to be. Everything just happened the way it was supposed to. Um, I think my favorite part was probably the surprise for the boys basketball team. I thought that was really funny and entertaining and I think everybody got a good laugh out of it. <laughs> I think it went uh, really good. I know that this one was uh, turned out um, better than expected, so because we put more time into it, we took uh, an extra two days to rehearse. We had the MCs practice over and over and over to get everything right, prepared ahead of time, and we all had to bring in stuff, so it was a lot more cooperative also. My favorite part was me and Emmy being able to MC because I wasn't able to. Uh, being such a big crowd and doing that was an eye-opener and that was like a fun part for me. We chose to do the glow-in-the-dark space kind of theme to promote our uh, Space Jam dance on March 18th. Uh, it kind of like was another way for us to kind of promote and spread the word and get people hyped about the dance coming up. That pep rally got me feeling real pep, topismal. Oh, do you have a stomachache? Yeah, actually I do. Um, but you know what cures my stomach ache every time? 100% foolproof? What? The music of Caribbean steel drums playing contemporary music. Oh, are you talking about the steel drum concert? Yes, I am. Let's go check them out. All right. Hi, I'm Ann Fennell, and I teach three levels of steel drum at Mission Vista High School, as well as music composition. If you've never seen a steel drum concert, you're missing out a true performance of a lifetime. Because the students not only play the music, they perform it. And that means that it's a spectacle to watch. Lights, and they're moving, and they're changing instruments, and they're engaged in the music process. Because we don't want the audience to be just passive watching, we want them to feel the energy that we're giving in music.
Hundreds of collective hours went into the preparation of the concert. To be an exemplary ensemble at the high school level, we need many extra hours of practice. So there might be 20, 30 hours of extra practice over a two and a half, three month process to get us into the actual concert. That's on top of the minutes required of practice by each student. I'm Julian Foster and during the Stilgrim 2 concert I played the tenor, the double, triple, bass pans and I sang for one song. Uh, I really encourage people to come take steel drum because it's a really fun class and it's pretty easy A as long as you turn in your practice logs and don't procrastinate. And it's extremely fun. You get to dance, you get to learn about music and yeah. My tummy feels better. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it is great. Yeah. Also, it's really bright out here. Yeah, it, it is. Like my future. Oh, well, what are your plans for your future? Making money. Oh, well, maybe you should check out Financial Algebra since you'll be making so much money. You know, it could really help you on Okay. Financial algebra is a class where students get to see how we really use math every day in our lives. Um, and it's things beyond just how do they use it today. We talk about when they go and rent their first apartment. We talk about when they buy a home. Um, our class just finished. If they purchase a large item, say $2,000, $3,000, and they only pay the minimum, how many years is it actually going to take them to pay it off and how much more money they pay. So the idea is in this class we learn um, life skills so and how to be better with our money, how to better prepare for the future um, so that we're not really financially stressed. We cover, we talk about checking and savings accounts, we talk about careers, uh, either whether they're doing a job right out of school or we also talk about their future careers that they want to pursue. We talk about buying cars, leasing cars, we talk about credit cards, what credit means, we go into taxes, which you would think would be really boring, but the kids seem to be really into that part. Uh, we talk about overall budgets and planning for retirement. So those are some of the things we cover. So in order to enroll for financial algebra, you need to have completed integrated one and two, or the equivalent. Okay, so this will count as your third year of math. It's also an option after you've taken, say, integrated three, math analysis, AP Calc, uh, but students should see it as an ending class. Now I'll make the right financial decisions. Well, that's good. So, uh, hey Tyler, who's our next aspiring artist? Um, I don't know, but I'll give you a hint. He's pretty cool. Like Ice Cube cool? He's like the frozen tundra. Ooh, let's check him out. Okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tyler Phillips, and I enjoy playing the guitar. I've been involved and interested in music from a very early age. Uh, I first picked up a guitar when I was about five years old, and, uh, but I didn't know what I was doing until I actually learned how to play it around like 10 or 11. Mission Vista has helped my music career in many ways because it's just a great environment. Uh, there's a lot of really talented musicians and kids that I've met along the way, along with all the music programs that we have have really helped me overcome a fear of performing in front of people. There have been a few moments that made me realize that I've wanted to make music a career. 
such as things like Rock the Hill, where there's almost like a thousand people showing up to come see your band, and that makes it pretty real for everybody who's playing there. Make sure to cruise out on March 17th to the Benefit concert in the theater at MVHS, and follow me on Insta at earthshineband.com. Pretty much Tyler, though. Thanks for watching. It, it was me. No way, that guy was way more lit than you. Yeah, you're right. Well, Timberwolves, I'm Kennedy. And I'm Tyler. And hope you have a beautiful spring break.